Hey friends, in this video I will guide you for Active Directory system state backup through the PowerShell script. So I just created a PowerShell script and uh, I will show you how we can use this PowerShell script for taking the Active Directory system state backup. So before proceeding, you have to install the Windows Server backup feature on your machine where you are taking the backup so i already installed this and you can install this through the server manager or the powershell command so add roles and features will help you to installing the windows server backup so you can verify that if you have installed so this will come inside the tools in the server manager here you can see we have already installed but if you want to install so just you can install it through the add roles and features so because I already verified this so I will close this uh, server manager tool and will go on the PowerShell script that will help us to taking the Active Directory system state backup so PowerShell ISC and uh, basically this is used for writing your script or modifying the current existing script so I just open the Windows PowerShell ISC through, uh, with the administrator account now I will open this script which we have already created and I just opened this one so uh, from the beginning we are just checking this import module server manager and now there is a string variable that is date and this date variable is just storing the current date of the machine where you are executing the script or you are uh, uh, we are we, where you are just taking the active directory system state backup so date variable is just storing the date in the form of yymmddd and uh, next line is the path this is also a variable where we are just specifying the destination path where backup will be stored so 10.0.0.128 this is the destination path where I just created a folder that is ad underscore backup if you want to cross check so just use this you can change the path as per your requirement where you are storing the backup where you are intended to store it either that is a storage or some other shared path I always recommend you to uh, store the Active Directory system state backup or some other backup on the shared path instead of saving it, it on the local system because in the local system your system can be crashed and your data will be also uh, removed or lost from the machine where which machine has been already uh, crashed or there are some hardware issue or some other issues so this is the path I just cross check so you have access this uh, you have to, you have to assign the permissions which person is just executing the powershell script so i have the rights you can cross check by creating a folder or file yes i have the access on this shared path i just deleted this one now target unc equal to path plus date so target unc is this one so path is this one this is the path and ad backup this is the directory that will be created along with the current date so this is just mentioned inside the target unc equal to path plus date so this is the uh, variable that is just storing the, the path as well as also the current date of the machine now it is just checking the path and uh, further we just using we are just using the wb admin underscore cmd variable this variable is just storing the uh, wb admin command that will use to take the system state backup and uh, here you are just specifying the target unc so this path will be called over here with the current date and now system state and vss copy I just using the VSS copy for my system state backup now I will just execute this PowerShell script and we'll see how backup is just going to be started for the Active Directory system state even you can just schedule this script on your scheduled task so this will execute 
as per your requirement suppose if you want to take it on the weekly basis or 15 days or monthly you can configure inside your schedule task as well now I'm going to execute this script now you can see the backup has been started and uh, it is just verifying the volume and all and it will just see the path yes this is just this has just created the folder with the current date 27th September 2022 this is YYMMDD so this is the AD backup so this will just create the folder AD backup with the current date so this has been stored over here target equal target UNC equal to path plus date but uh, if you are using the manual command so this will create a windows uh, system state backup as a normally how you are doing currently but if you will use this script so this will create this will use this will help you to creating the active directory system state backup with the current date of uh, of your uh, system where you have taken the backup so now we will go on the shared path we'll see how backup has been stored we'll go on the run and we'll see yes the backup has been started so this is the way which you can use to executing the powershell script for taking the backup so once backup will be finished so you will get the message windows system state backup has been completed with the log files thank you for watching this video